Hi, I'm Rachel. And so am I. And, and welcome, welcome to Fun Day Sunday Kids. so much at the minute after all that chocolate I um, ate. Oh, trust do you. you. Uh, do you have any of your chocolate left? Yes. You do? Yeah. Oh. Have you not eaten it all have you? Um, there might be a little bit left. <laughs> I tell you a few years ago though it would have been all gone. My friend used to have some months after. Actually you still do that don't you? I yeah. don't understand how people have Easter chocolate or Christmas chocolate months after the time has passed. I don't get it. Like it's gone. I eat it. It's gone. It's, it's called in my willpower rage. Willpower. I have none when it comes to food. But oh, am I feeling a bit? I'm feeling it a bit, to be honest with you. Well, I wonder how you guys are done with your Easter chocolate yeah. because you guys have been on your Easter holidays. So I hope that you've enjoyed some of the nice weather, some of the not so nice weather. It's been a little bit weird, hasn't it's been it? A the bit, weather. bit of a mix. Yeah. So, for this week something fun, we thought that we would get moving just to help Rach work off some of that Easter eggs, some of that Easter eggs, some of those Easter eggs rather, and have a bit of a relay type obstacle course race. What okay. do you think, Rach? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this week, Pastor MC is going to join us for that too. Oh, How amazing. fun is this going to be? Amazing. Right, th this is it though. This is it. I know there's some people at home who are voting for me to win because I've been losing a lot recently. <laughs> I think that's why we've done so many crafts in the past. No, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, guys. Even with all the <laughs> chocolate weight from Easter, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right, well, let's go and see. Let's go and find Pastor MC and let's do this. Yes! Yeah! I'm going to win. So, we have found Pastor MC and we are ready to do this, like, obstacle course type relay racing we're going to do to see which one of us is going to win. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I'm not quite ready. Can I have one minute? Yeah. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, wow, Rach. Right. I'm ready. Okay. I've got my running trainers on. Ninja Warrior. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. All right. Wait a minute. I think I will... You a... as well, MC. Proper, properly. Okay. Oh. Just wait for me. Wait for me. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, Pastor come MC. On. Come MC on, come is on. ready. Yes, come on, I, come on. I, I don't even... I'm literally in boots and... Oh. You know what? There is one thing that I could put on, but it's not quite as good as yours. Go on, Ray. Okay. Oh, okay. Ray, <laughs> you're gonna absolutely melt out here in that. I know, <laughs> but it's sure? it's all I've got to be a bit different. Oh. <laughs> Maybe being a bear will help me win. Okay. Maybe. Okay. My money's okay. on MC. No, oh. I'm going to win. I'm going to win <laughs> this one. I'm going to win this one. So what we're going to do is we've got a skipping rope. These are just things that we've been able to find around place. And we're going to skip around this tree five times. Then there's cups of water, which we're going to balance on our head. We have to walk to another tree where we then have to ping pong. Oh. Uh, no, we have to, no, we have to star jump so many and then ping pong so many. Then we've got black bin bags. <laughs> Oh. to be like a sack. sack race sack race all the way back but we are going to do it one by one and time each one of us to see who can do it the quickest so that's how we're going to do it right are we ready are we ready who's going first okay i think yes. oh. Rachel's Rachel. going first great Pastor Rachel, you go first yes. okay yes. let's go let's go ready? right are you ready Rach? i think so okay three two one
Let's Record see. one minute 48 seconds. Wow, one Nine minute and 48 six. seconds. Oh oh. Wow, well done, Rach. Well done. Right, MC, it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, Pastor MC, are you ready I'm to see, ready. see if you can beat Rach? Uh, I think, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh. Pastor MC, oh, you did it in two minutes and 14 seconds. So, I can't believe it. Rach beat you. Okay, yeah. that means only one thing it's my turn. Right, Rach, are you ready? No. I thought I, thought I was going to win, <laughs> but now I'm not so confident. But I'm going to try my best. Right, ready, steady, go. Gosh, you should show how unhealthy I am. <laughs> oh dear me, I can't hide my age now. <laughs> oh. No, you did great, MC. I tell did. you what, these shoes were awful for that skipping rope. They just get caught on everything. That's why I brought my trainers. <gasps> Last time we did a skipping rope challenge, I had to do it in bare feet and it really hurt. Oh, okay. That's why I, I brought my trainers exercise. today. I need more exercise. You <laughs> need more exercise. Yeah. So, why don't you have a go at home, see what you can find to make some sort of like relay race obstacle course and work off some of that Easter chocolate. Yes, yeah, send us in some pictures or some videos, that would be yes. so much fun to see guys. Yes. So now it is time for Billy Bear and his friends Ooh. to come back Ooh. to tell Billy us this Bear. week's story. Yes. yes. Early on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. It was still dark. Mary saw that the large stone had been moved away from the tomb. Mary stood outside the tomb, crying. While she was still crying, she bent down and looked inside the tomb. She saw two angels dressed in white. They were sitting where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and one at the feet. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? She answered, They have taken away my Lord. I don't know where they have put him. When Mary said this, she turned around 
and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Whom are you looking for? Mary thought he was the gardener, so she said to him, Did you take him away, sir? Tell me where you put him, and, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. Mary turned towards Jesus and said in the Jewish language, Rabboni, teacher, Jesus said to her, Don't hold me. I have not yet gone up to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them this. I am going back to my father and your father. I am going back to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went back to the disciples and said, I saw the Lord. And she told them what Jesus had said to her. The end. Rachel and Rachel have asked us to come back and talk about the story this time. Yeah, what a great story. I love it when the teddies tell the story. Yeah, me too. They're so cute. Yeah, they are. What a great story. I mean, after last week where it was Easter Sunday. Yeah, and we saw that Jesus is risen. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Not only is he risen, he actually then went and saw his friends and his disciples, didn't he? Yeah, and he spoke to Mary. And what's really cool is before he did die on the cross, he did tell them all that he was going to die, but that he would come back. Yeah, he did. He, he like, almost predicted it, saying, I'm going to die, but three days later, I yeah. will rise again. And he did. Yeah. Mary went to the tomb, and it was empty. Yeah, but... He, she then goes and tells the disciples, but the disciples don't believe it straight away, do they? <laughs> no, no, because it's tough, isn't it? It's hard to believe something that you can't see. Yeah, it is. It is very tough. Sometimes you just can't believe it. You don't even, however much you might love God and love Jesus, sometimes you just might not believe what the scripture says sometimes. Yeah, or his promises are the things that we think, wow. That just won't happen. Yeah. But this tells us that we've got to believe that what Jesus says will happen. Yeah, it will. Yeah, so we've just got to have the faith. That's believing in the things that you can't see. Yeah. And what is really nice, Jess, you said about this, about when Jesus said... Um, Mary's name. What did you like about that? Were you telling me before? Well, I just love that because, you know, Mary's all upset and doesn't actually recognise Jesus. Thinks he's a gardener. Ha ha ha. But actually, it's him saying her name and then she realises. And I love it because Jesus knows my name. Yep. He knows your name. Yep. And he knows all of our friends out there's names. Mm -hmm. He knows all our names and, and it can bring such comfort that when we're upset that actually, you know, Jesus can be like, hey, Elsie or hey, Jess. Yeah. And he knows me. He knows my name. Yeah, he does. So next time I'm upset, I'm going to try and remember this, Jess. Yeah, to remember to believe in what Jesus has said, but also to know that we can go to him, our friend, because he knows our name. Yeah. Ah, it's making me remember a song, a worship song we've done in church before. It says, all your promises are yes and amen. I love that song. Yeah, he promised that he would rise again, and he did. And then, there he is, not just rising and coming back to life, but he's talking to Mary and everything. He comforted her when she was sad. Yeah, and he wants to do that for us too. Yeah, yeah. What a great story. I can't wait to find out of the rest of the things that Jesus did before he went back to heaven. Me too. Yeah. Bye. A 
okay guys, I hope that you are enjoying this episode so far. And although we've done the obstacle course and we've got you moving already, it is now time for an action song. So get ready to move and dance with us today. We're hoping to bring you some joy this uh, morning or afternoon. Um, as the joy of the Lord is our strength, especially in this time. So please do join in. Gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. Gonna shout out loud, gonna tap in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. Gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, praise your name forever. Gonna shout out loud, gonna tap in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. Such a lot when you got not a lot, but be happy. Gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. Gonna shout out loud, gonna send my praise to heaven. Gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, praise your name forever. Gonna shout out loud, gonna send my praise to heaven. Not a lot, but be happy. Yay, well done. Yay. We're praying for you and thinking of you, and remember to be happy. Bye. Bye. Oh, do you know what, Rach? I am shattered out this week. I know. We've done exercise, we've done an action song, praising God through our movement. I'm just so glad that Elsie and Jess came along to talk all about the story so we could have a sit down. I know, and what great things they taught us and helped us to remember and know that we've got, we could learn from this week's story. Yeah, and you know, they've really put that song in my head. All your promises are yes and amen. Yeah. Yep, so I can't stop singing it now. I know, it's going to go in your head forever and ever and ever, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, now we're actually going to just spend a moment to just take a minute uh, to pray. To pray to God, to thank Him for everything that we've learned over the last few weeks and everything we've learned today, aren't we? Yep. Yes, we are. So, let's pray. Yeah. God, we just want to thank you today that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross for us because you love us so, so much yeah. and that you keep all your promises. Your promises are yes and amen. And as Jesus had said to everybody that he was going to die, but he would rise again after three days, that he did that. And we've seen that today in the story. Yeah. And Lord, I just want to thank you that you know you do know each one and every one of our names lord whether we know you or not you know us and you love us and you love us so much to call us by our name because you are our friend you are our god you are our savior and we just want to thank you that you have died and rose again jesus so that we can have a great friendship with god and we just thank you and praise you this morning and just say lord may all of your promises come true in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, what an amazing episode. It is. I bet you've worked off all that Easter chocolate and you guys are all ready to have a bit of a rest this afternoon. I know it? I am. I literally am like, got a bit of a wheeze it feels after all that skipping around that tree. That, that tree <laughs> is, I'm pointing at it, you can't quite see it in the shot. It's there. But the tree is right there and it is much bigger than you think. Five times around that tree is really hard. It is I'm hard. so glad I bought my trainers this time. I know, I'm never doing it again in these kind of boots. Like, it does not work. Do not recommend. No. <laughs> but we hope that you have a great week ahead of you. Whatever the weather is like, whatever is before you, we hope you have a great week knowing that Jesus knows you, loves you, wants to comfort you, and his promises will come true in your life. 
They will. So until next week, guys, yeah. we will see you then. Take care. Bye.